Hi traders, this is Forex Nelson and I'm back today with another five trades. Today's date is January the 4th. Everything looks like it's back to normal and the holidays are over. Time to start the new year on the right foot by having profitable trading days. And in doing so, to make my trading a little bit easier, I have developed a new trigger system. I call it the fractal trigger system using fractals, as you can see right in here. It's an advanced fractal indicator that is multi time frame. In other words, you can put it on any time frame you want. I like the 60 minutes as I'm pulling the trigger either on the uh, 5 minute or the 15. It's usually the 15 minute. But I'm looking at the fractals that are based from the hourly time frame. It also has pop-up alerts. You can send it to your email. You can enable the sound. Um, I'm not a big fan of alerts. I just know what time to be trading. I just want to see what the fractals are telling me. And in this situation, so basically the fractals are showing you areas of support, which is in blue, and areas of resistance, which is in red, from the one hour time frame, which you can change uh, the time frame and the colors and you can make these fractals smaller and or bigger so it's up to you whichever way you want to do it just remember once you do do it then just save the template now we're going to go through the pairs where we took some of these trades starting with the one at the top here which is the pound cad here are the fractals um, all of these trades are a great way to trade comes with the highest success rate and I definitely could have stayed in the trade longer but my goal is 50 pips or more on a daily basis and as you can see uh, this is representing probably um, uh, 80 or, or more pips so let's see we can do the math as we go through all the pairs so the pound CAD will drag and drop it up as I said, got in the trade here. I was a little bit impatient. I wasn't in front of the computer at this point. But anyhow, I, I took the trade, did go against me. Um, but there's nothing, uh, you know, these pound pairs, you know, 20, 20, 25, 30 pips, it can go against you. But as long as you know the trend direction, and I call it the, also the flow of the market, and once you know that, then you know it's going to go down. And when you know it's going to go in your favor, just take the trade. Now, it did go against me about 19 pips or so, 20 pips. Uh, and, of course, I closed it out uh, a little bit on the... the... The only reason I closed it out was because when I saw the total down here, and I just automatically closed this one out, um, as I did not want to turn... Um, a winner into a loser but I knew it was going to go down for some more so anyhow I ended up closing it out with it looks like about um, five pips and five pips on the pound cad uh, paid three hundred and fourteen dollars so off to a good start the next one is the pound Aussie let's run a check on that one again perfect example of a great way to trade and uh, there's the fractals sometimes they'll pop in other times uh, they won't and as a general rule once you get the fractal if it goes up high enough then the fractals will pop in indicating this is an area of resistance and at that point it should go down remember nothing's guaranteed it's just you're just going to trade with probabilities so once i saw the fractal i knew it was going to go down Although before it went down, it went up a little bit against me. And of course, that's not a big deal. Let's see, I took the trade at this cursor. Did go against me 14 pips. 
and I close it out. Um, looks like with 17 pips and 17 pips on the pound Aussie paid $1,312. And of course running a check on the meter as you can see this can still break the bottom as the pound is only at like 3%. Even and also got to pay attention that it already hit the ADR here and doesn't mean it's going to go another 100 200 pips but as you can clearly see it already went almost 50 pips more these pound pairs move like crazy every day even on holidays bank holidays so if anybody tells you don't trade whatever like uh, bank holidays don't trade Asian I'm here to tell you you can trade as long as you know how to trade and that's exactly what I teach within the training videos how to trade you know the flow of the market all systems all of my trigger systems every system on my computer and I do have about 1200 systems they will all work once you learn how to trade um, the flow of the market so remember that don't do what I did just kept jumping around and around and around 700 systems before I finally learned it's realize it's not the system you have to learn how to trade a market movement I call it the flow of the market so moving on to the pound New Zealand this pair moves the most number of pips on a daily basis we see the fractals in here I knew once I saw the fractals, uh, definitely, uh, you know, and I could have taken a trade anywhere across here. Even before the fractals uh, populated, I knew it was going to go down. So we're just going to drag and drop this up. There's your fractal. I knew it was going to go down. It did one more little bit of a cycle here. Remember what I said, this pound uh, New Zealand jumps around the most of all the pound pairs. It did jump, uh, well, that was only 17 pips. And of course, if, if I stayed in a trade, I'd be up 64 pips, but I closed it out when I was happy. And it, it looks like I was happy with 20 pips and 20 pips on the pound New Zealand paid $1,441. And by the way, I not only do I teach you how to get in a trade, but also teach you how to stay in a trade um, for more pips um, could have done it uh, whenever I see another fractal at the bottom and or when I see triggers down at the bottom as such right here when you see this should get out anyhow so I could have closed out anywhere around here with at least 50 pips but anyhow it's not a big deal if I can get 50 pips or more looks like today it's more than 80 um, I'm very happy and look at the pound it's at zero one it, it's fluctuating so th this should continue to go down some more but again if this pound all of a sudden goes up quite a bit like 20 more than 20 then the party's over and um it's around 10 o'clock in the morning anytime between 10 11 and 12 not written in stone but that is the london close the actual time is 11 a.m., but the pullback up can be um, uh, um, any time starting from now. So if I see a fractal, and if I want to grab some more pips and look at the pips, grab another 50, 60 pips. And if I'm in the mood, you know, I will trade the London close exactly the way I teach within the training videos. So... As I said many times, my goal is 50 pips or more. If I can get it in one trade, uh, then I'm happy. Two, two to five trades is usually what I do. And uh, that usually guarantees me, well, of course, nothing's guaranteed. But um, the way I'm trading with a very high success rate, um, it's a 95% certainty I will get my 50 pips or more. Moving on to, I actually did this pound New Zealand. I was so sure of it. Um, I took the trade a second time. And let's clean up the charts to do so. 
just reapply the fractal trigger, removes that order, and then I put another order in actually. I waited it to, to get in a little bit better price. And once you get in a little bit better price, you will get paid more uh, pips and money. Got in at this uh, cursor, it went about, looks like about 13 pips against me. And I closed it out as I was happy. And also it was hitting the ADR. Looks like I closed it out with 23 pips and 23 pips on the pound New Zealand paid $1,657. Trading is uh, super easy. Lots of fun using the fractals uh, along, uh, along with the, of course, uh, it's called fractal trigger. That's what it's called. So the last pair I took, which is the pound Swiss, this one certainly looks like it pumped out the most number of pips. Another perfect example of a great way to trade. I got in here. Now this would have been ideally like the best entry right here, but I didn't get to the computer until um, right around here. I had only about 10 or 15 minutes to catch this. Uh, so anyhow, I took the trade. This one just went bang, right in my favor. Didn't even go against me. And as I said, I closed it out because I was happy. And I was happy with 29 pips. And it looks like those, those 29 pips on the pound Swiss paid $3,298. So today trading with uh, my latest and newest um, system called the Fractal Trigger. I ended up with um, 94 pips, close to 100, very, very happy. And those 94 pips paid $8,023. So if your system is not producing like my fractal trigger, suggest you get your hands on it. And to do so, you just have to look right below this video and you'll see my contact information along with um, uh, a write-up similar to this. It's a... Uh, fractal trigger system I do charge $250 for and it comes with four gigabytes of training and you'll get an exact copy of my system on your MT4 platform. It comes with four MT4 templates, 10 custom indicators and of course my favorite meter. Every time I'm trading, every day I use the meter, it tells me exactly which trades I should be focusing on. And once you learn how to work the meter, and you do have to get your hands on a good meter. I went through 12 of them, and believe me, they're not all the same. And if you don't have a good meter, you'll get wrong readings, and wrong readings will, uh, um, you'll end up taking wrong trades, and guess what'll happen? You'll be making the broker very happy because they will take your money, guaranteed. Now it comes with a lot of PDF books, a lot of Word documents, and this is what you're going to need, a lot of education to succeed at trading the markets. And speaking of, of a lot of education, I teach a lot of ways to trade, and that is why I give 42 training videos and I threw a 9 bonus video. I'll only touch on one of these as we're running short of time. Don't want to make this video too long, but I really cannot stress it enough that the best way to trade and trade the flow of the market is a great way to trade. You're looking at a perfect example of it on the right hand side here. And I teach exactly how to trade this way. So now you can put it on pause as I teach um, plenty of different ways to trade. And of course, if you have any questions about all these different ways, all you got to do is pick up the phone and call me. Here's my number. I do answer the phone. And of course, um, if you live too far, just um, send me an email. Remember, there's an underscore here. I do prefer Skype. Uh, made it easy. Just click on this link. We'll have a connection. And through Skype screen sharing, I will give you a free session. No obligation. Answer your questions. Give you a, a bunch of a free tips and tricks. I do this um, as I don't mind helping traders. 
my day is usually done by, uh, what time was I finished today? Looks like quarter after seven this morning, or, or sorry about that, uh, uh, eight, eight, uh, quarter after eight. Eight, 14, looks like. So my day is usually done unless I get in the trade a little bit later. And then of course, usually a couple hours a day, my day is done and I'm usually very happy on a daily basis. And since I'm finished uh, trading so early in the morning, I have the rest of the day to talk to traders. So over the course of many years, I've been building trigger systems and if you click on this link right here, you'll see uh, 30 screenshots. Uh, that just about wraps up this uh, video and this training uh, trading day. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So until the next trade, good luck with your trading and remember to keep yourself and your family safe. Okay, bye.